find food shopping pretty pretty easy really we've got some nice big modern supermarkets that uh, pretty much you can get what 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 you need what you want maybe not in the brands that you uh, that you're used to that you are used to from from home there are, are some big hypermarkets that have very very good selection both uh, local hypermarkets like um, mega market uh, international hypermarkets like Oshan or, or Metro which is a cash and carry but I find you have to shop around like you know you took me to different supermarkets to say this is the best place for mincemeat this is the best place for steak this is a good place for bread so in the UK I go to one shop and get everything it's a full time job here shopping is a full time job yeah. food shopping you have to be aware of what you can buy where uh, but you can you can find it in Kiev and they do have the exotic items, like if you're making a Thai curry, you can find the lime leaves, you can find the lemongrass stalks, where in, in Toronto I would be hard pressed to find them as easily, whereas here... You just need to know where to go. Yeah. Yeah. We also go to the specialty stores like Delight that do imported really good cheeses and parma ham and digestive biscuits and special muesli. Whatever you want to get, they will sell you, but it's expensive. So we'll, that's kind of, okay, I'm doing a dinner party, I need something special, I might go there. Um, and the, there's a Chinese stall in um, Vladimirsky and one of the, the Rinox, the markets here. Pretty much, you know, you can get anything. The, the last two years, that I've been here for two and a half years, when we first came, there were one or two shopping malls. They have built, what, three, four? Sorry, Sky Mall. Really big ones. Uh, and uh, two, two years ago I had to go back home to buy clothes for my kids, just basic stuff for, for me and, and for my kids. Nowadays I, I do all my shopping here. Oh really? Yeah. Is it right, okay, because that is one thing that I don't do. Clothes shopping here is really, really, really expensive. See, we come from different countries. For yeah, me, it's, well, it's even cheaper here. Oh really? It's cheaper than Sweden. Wow. You know, most of the uh, the famous shops are here in terms of clothes, so uh, so certainly there's uh, there's availability and uh, and some choice when needed. I've done a little bit of shopping for clothes. It's okay, but you do tend to pay more here than you do in Europe and the States. One difficulty shopping here is if you want to return an item. That is so incredibly difficult a process. Yeah, that requires your pass, your passport. Pass. Even if you've just bought it at a checkout and then you realise now you don't want it, it is not as simple as saying, you know, I've just bought it, just give me my money back. Mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> no, it's just awful. I, I actually bought some trousers in Gap that were too big for me and I thought, and I ended up giving them to my nanny because I just thought... It's easier. It's <laughs> easier to give them to the nanny, they were reduced anyway, um, than to go through the rigmarole of taking them back. I do, and they sell, and they have great sales here. When they have a sale, mm -hmm. they have good sales mm -hmm. as well. Good. You have to be careful because sometimes they do increase the price and then still say that there's fifty yeah. percent off, but you're still paying the same amount as was originally. Uh, but you can find uh, anything with regard to clothes here in Kiev. Yeah. Depends on where you want to buy more fashion, or more upscale, or you want to have the more normal clothes. You, know, you go, you go to a mall, and, and buy what you need.